Every day we learn more about space and the universe surrounding us. Space discoveries can tell us things about our place in the cosmos, the origins of life, and even how to find new planets that could support human life. Some of these things may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but believe it or not, some incredible things are happening in space right now that could have a tangible impact on our lives. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three incredible space discoveries. A 13.5 billion year old star. A new discovery has given scientists a reason to rethink what they thought they knew about our galaxy. The discovery in question is a star called 2 Mass J 18082002510437B is believed to be around 13.5 billion years old. If this is the case, the star would have been born only slightly after the Big Bang. Surprisingly, the star is also relatively close to us. This new discovery has made scientists wonder if the galaxy is perhaps older than they previously thought. According to the study's lead author and Johns Hopkins University astronomer Kevin Schlaufman, this star is maybe one in 10 million. It tells us something very important about the first generation of stars. There are other surprising things about this star besides its very existence. For one, the star is quite small, as it is just 14% of our Sun's mass. For a long time, researchers assumed that small stars would not have formed during the beginning of the universe. They also believed they would be impossible to observe because they would have faded out by now. As time passed, Simulations pointed to the possibility of old, low-mass stars. Low-mass stars can live far longer than massive stars. For example, red dwarfs, which are only a fraction of the size of our Sun, are believed to be able to live for trillions of years. Additionally, while most metal-poor stars orbit away from the galactic plane in the Milky Way, this star remains in the plane along with our Sun. Scientists have always been fascinated by stars that are short of metal because they are thought to have formed shortly after the Big Bang, just like this newly discovered star. While scientists have only found a handful of very old stars, they hope this finding begins an era of more discoveries. According to Schlaufmann, if our inference is correct, then low-mass stars that have a composition exclusively the outcome of the Big Bang can exist. Even though we have not yet found an object like that in our galaxy, it can exist. As scientists gather more data and discoveries, we hope to learn more about the origin of life. New data suggests Ceres has a weak interior. NASA's Dawn mission has just revealed something new about the dwarf planet Ceres. According to recent data, Ceres has a weaker interior than previously thought. Dawn, a NASA mission launched in 2007, traveled about 4.3 billion miles before the mission concluded in 2018. In the many miles traveled, Dawn became the first spacecraft to orbit a space object between Mars and Jupiter. Along with its many other firsts, Dawn also became the first spacecraft to orbit the dwarf planet Ceres which is also the largest world in its asteroid belt. Dawn was able to determine the characteristics of Ceres' interior using data gathered about Ceres' gravity. It achieved this feat using NASA's Deep Space Network, which is made up of multiple large antennas in different locations around the world and are used for interplanetary communication. Scientists used the signals coming from DSN to determine the velocity of Dawn which helped calculate Ceres' gravity field. What this shows was that Ceres has an interesting quality called hydrostatic equilibrium, where its interior is so weak that its rotation determines the planet's entire shape. Other interesting findings from the data are that Ceres was found to be less dense than other space bodies like the Moon and the asteroid Vesta, and that the dwarf planet contains a lot of material that is low density, such as water ice. It was also found that Ceres' weak mantle can be moved by the mountains and other high objects on the planet's outer layer. According to the lead author of the study, Ryan Park, the new data suggests that Ceres has a weak interior and that water and other light materials partially separated from rock during a heating phase early in its history. 
The findings from this study may help researchers find out more about Ceres's early history, how it was different than Earth's, and what it tells us about the formation of space objects. Earth's moon wandered off axis billions of years ago. According to a new study, Earth's moon moved from its axis billions of years ago. The evidence in the form of ancient lunar ice suggests that the moon's axis shifted by 125 miles in the time span of about 1 billion years. The discovery made by planetary scientist Matt Siegler and his colleagues at Southern Methodist University Dallas was made possible by examining NASA data that indicates lunar polar hydrogen. The hydrogen is presumed to be in the form of ice and hidden from the sun in craters surrounding the south and north poles of the moon. This ice may be an indicator of the moon's past orientation because ice exposed to sunlight boils off into space. The ice in the moon's south and north poles was enough to prompt Siegler to form a team to look at NASA's lunar prospector and lunar reconnaissance orbiter missions to see if the data could tell them a different story than previously thought. What the data showed was that the ice is offset at each pole, but in precisely opposite directions. This opposition indicates that the moon's axis shifted at least 125 miles over an estimated billion years. This process is thought to have started more than 3 billion years ago. According to Siegler, billions of years ago, heating within the moon's interior caused the face we see to shift upward as the pole physically changed positions. It would be as if Earth's axis relocated from Antarctica to Australia. As the pole moved, the man on the moon turned his nose up at the Earth. What makes this finding particularly incredible is that very few planetary bodies shift their axes permanently. The Moon is quite exceptional in that regard. Additionally, the lunar ice might be instrumental in finding out more about the origins of Earth's own ice. According to Siegler, this is a record we don't have on Earth. Earth has reworked itself so many times, there's nothing that old left here. Ancient ice from the Moon could provide answers to this deep mystery. As scientists continue to explore and learn more about our universe, we are constantly changing our understanding of it, and sometimes these changes challenge what we thought we knew. Space exploration has revealed some amazing things about our universe, but there is still much left to be discovered. We can expect continued advances in space technology and exploration as we seek to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Space exploration will continue to play a vital role in learning more about our universe in the years to come. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.